Welcome back to NDL Gamer. Today, we're diving into the exciting new updates in Mighty Party, focusing on significant changes to three major ability classes, Bleed, Toxin, and Curse, along with a brand new status effect, Corruption. New status effect, Corruption. Purpose, to create stronger interactions between these ability classes, allowing them to better support and synergize with each other in battle. How it works. When a hero receives a bleed, toxin, or curse effect, they also receive the corruption effect. Corruption itself does not deal direct damage, but opens up opportunities for other heroes to exploit and amplify their power. Hero changes. Harbinger of Darkness. Completely reworked. Now dealing damage based on the number of enemies affected by corruption and healing himself. Harbinger's attacks, along with his minions, now inflict corruption and other effects like bleed and toxin. Terral Kelhorn, enhanced bleeding abilities and the ability to heal allies based on the number of enemies affected by my bleed and corruption. Leader Nylon, increased health and improved summoning of hollows. Arachne, new ability to reduce enemy evasion. Toxic Mantas, improved damage siphoning and immunity to silence. Sirket Sen Scorp, increased damage and healing capabilities. Her second skill is nerfed to cleanse all allies within a one tile radius, excluding herself at the end of each turn. Holda. Her fourth skill will cleanse herself and all allies on the same row at the end of each turn. Undyne. Her third skill will cleanse all allies within a one tile radius, including herself at the start of each turn. Low Tricks. Dolls summoned by Low Tricks will cleanse themselves and all allies within a one tile radius upon death. Analysis. Heroes with cleansing abilities are now more powerful, especially encountering negative effects such as stun, freeze, or stat reduction effects, making battles more strategic and intense. New levels and rebirths. Increased maximum levels and rebirths. Many heroes can now reach level 36 and rebirth 7, unlocking new possibilities for team building and combat. Analysis. The increased levels and rebirths make heroes stronger, offering more strategies and choices for players to build their teams. Conclusion. Key highlights. This update significantly boosts the power of heroes using Bleed, Toxin, Curse, and the new Corruption effect. Diverse strategies. Players can now create more unique and powerful team compositions. Balanced power. Weaker heroes are enhanced, leading to a more balanced game. Now let's dive into the details to see what has changed. First off, the Warlord has had all three of its skills reworked, and these new skills are much more useful than before, especially in line with the Corruption update. As for the details on each skill, combos, and how to counter them, we'll save that for another video. Oh, and let me explain a bit more about Corruption so you can better understand how it works. For example, take Void Jewel. Previously, it required enemy heroes to be cursed in order to drain their health. But now, if the enemy is poisoned or bleeding, Void Jewel can still drain their health. Next, let's talk about the changes to the heroes. 1. Terrell Kelhorn has been updated to apply Corruption to Bleed in his second and third skills, and he's also gained a new ultimate ability. This skill significantly improves his ability to heal the Warlord, making him much stronger after this update. Uh, I think he's become a lot more powerful now. You can now pair him with heroes that cause poison, curse, or are related to healing. 2. Leader Nylon was already strong, but now he's even stronger with the addition of an ultimate ability. This skill boosts the power of his hollows by dealing damage to a random enemy hero affected by corruption. Although he no longer summons hollows when a building dies, he's still powerful because hollows apply poison and nylon applies curse, making it almost impossible for enemies to avoid getting corrupted. 3. Arachne. I've tested her and discovered that Toxin also triggers the corruption effect, which makes her reworked ultimate ability very powerful. From what I've read about the skill, I suspect it might also cause the newly appeared enemy to miss if that enemy is affected by Toxin, along with two of its allies also missing. Since I haven't leveled her up yet, I haven't been able to test this, but I plan to try it out in the Legendary Draft tomorrow. Uh, if it works like this, Arachne could become a meta pick again, just like she was initially. 4. Toxic Mantas. Although, 
Its first skill now only siphons 50% damage. It can now siphon from an entire row and does so before attacking. This makes it much more effective than before when it siphoned 100%, but only from the target being attacked, which wasn't very effective against heroes with immunity. What's special is that when Toxic Mantas kills an enemy, it gains immunity to silence for one turn, making it very difficult to kill. You'll need to either transform it or use a flying hero to block it for one turn. Circuit Sen Scorp. This update only increases the stats for her first and third skills and changes Toxin to Corruption, making her more effective overall. This change allows her to synergize with more heroes, making it easier to apply the Corruption effect to enemies. As a result, Scorp will heal more and deal more damage to enemies. Overall, if you pair Scorp with Arachne, they become a very powerful duo, with Groot being the only hero who can really stop them. As for Maid of the Sea, she's just an epic hero, so I won't bother analyzing her since no one really uses her. Previously, heroes with cleansing abilities could cleanse all their allies, but now they can only cleanse those around them. The only exception is Holda, who got buffed to cleanse both the allies behind her and herself. Previously, she could only cleanse herself. Additionally, there are three more heroes that also benefit from Corruption. One, Void Jewel. As mentioned earlier, it now works with Corruption, making it effective in draining health from enemies affected by Corruption, not just those cursed. Two, Gremory. With the addition of Corruption, Gremory can deal a lot of damage to the enemy warlord if used correctly. 3. Deep Maw. This hero can now increase its own HP more than before, but I don't rate this hero very highly. I'll try out a match with the 8 newly updated heroes with Corruption effects to see how they perform. Since I haven't leveled them up yet, they might be a bit weak. As for detailed guides on each hero, I'll make separate videos for those if there's enough support from viewers. I'm dedicating time to make this detailed video because some of you have donated and become members and I want to show my appreciation by providing content that honors your support. The reason I haven't leveled them up yet is that I'm waiting for an event. Even though it might not provide many gems, it's still better than nothing. What do you think about these changes? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our latest content.